big global voice in the IT space. French IT giants Capgemini's global CEO and chairman Paul Hermelin. Ashwin Mohan caught up exclusively with his first interview post the mega four billion iGate acquisition. What we find incredible here is the talent pool, which is incredible, the size of it, the abundance of young people, extremely motivated. But with the Indian legislation, as you will notice, we have done two large acquisitions, but it were two US listed companies, mainly Indian, can be an iGate, but both listed on the NASDAQ. So it proved that when we want to grow in India, we make a little tour and we have to find a US listed company because the proceedings are a little faster. All right. How is uh, Capgemini looking to take advantage of uh, the Modi government's Digital India campaign? Now, that's one of the Prime Minister's pet projects. Uh, are you looking to collaborate in any way with the government, especially since digital contributes quite a sizable chunk of your group revenues? The focus on India is a little more on the manufacturing and private sector today, because this is where we find reference, where we can play a reference. Public administration is not internationally a group focus of Capgemini. Uh, maybe so. Let's not take any Indian concern only. Uh, public sector is probably a little slow in decision. There are big ambition to create a digital footprint, but it's not our best domain. All right. Now, earlier in January this year, Paul, the US government had tripled the H-1B and L-1 visa fees. And that was clearly a move that hit the Indian IT companies because it would impact the number of people that they would send to one of the largest markets, which is, of course, the US. India is the backbone of your group. As you said, you're reaching a point wherein almost half the headcount of Capgemini is from Absolutely. India. And therefore, considering the number of people that are employed by Capgemini India, how big a concern is this? The constant change in the immigration policy? Less for us. Why? Because, as you imagine, our origin is a Western group. So what we sell to our client are local people, Dutch people in Holland, American people in the US, be there from Indian or Korean origin, we don't care. But what we sell, contrary to the Indian competitors, is local service performed by local people, plus the strength of the Indian talent pool. But we do not ship as many Indian people abroad as uh, most of our Indian friends do. So for us, it's a concern, but probably less so. But I think what is important is to keep a flow because for building talent, our Indian oh. colleagues must address the client. They must travel, they must feel the client, and they bring something unique there that we need to cultivate. All right, point taken. Now, uh, clearly in a bid to boost your presence in the U.S. market, uh, Capgemini acquired iGate for about $4 billion in one, one of the biggest deals in the Indian IT sector. Give us a sense of the kind of integration uh, Give us a sense of the kind of integration issues that perhaps have cropped up because it's a complicated deal, uh, two different companies. And also tell us uh, what's the impact been on attrition rates and also client confidence. So a couple of remarks. First, iGate was itself the result of a merger between the historical iGate and Patni. Patni was possibly even the oldest Indian company. So we have now completed the merger. So what do we see? First, iGate had 280 clients, out of them only three were existing Capgemini clients, so these are new clients. For the time being, not only we haven't lost any of them, but we are growing in the right. client base. The second point, the key people, there are some uncertainty that might fuel a few attrition, but we have tracked the top people, the top 200 people, and today no attrition at all there. India is in the midst of an e-commerce boom. and. Here you're witnessing a scenario wherein you have several e-commerce players who are commanding astounding valuations, in some cases, perhaps even more than some of their listed peers. So we're looking at a scenario wherein there is a lot of innovation, there are a lot of exciting ideas out there. Uh, for an IT services company like Capgemini, uh, do you fear any sort of potential threat as far as disruption is concerned, especially on the product side? The beauty about technology is there are always young companies that emerge. They bring new energy, new disruption, and we need to bring them in the mainstream of the industry. 
That's why I think is our raison d'être, what the group has to do, which is why we partner with these new company and we bring their knowledge to the large client. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.